Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing about the EBS volume encryption. So we have a scenario uh, we, like where the EC2 server is being running and the EBS volume which is being attached to that EC2 server are not being encrypted. So the requirement is to encrypt the existing uh, EBS volumes which is being attached to the server and there should not be any data loss. So I will be uh, showing you the steps, what steps we need to perform and we'll show you the steps, uh, the demo of the steps on the AWS console also. So let's move on to the steps which we will be performing in this video. So first we will be stopping the EC2 instance. Then uh, from the EC2 instance, we will be creating a snapshot of the volume which is being attached to the server. After creating this snapshot, we will be uh, creating a volume which will be in an encrypted state from that snapshot. Once the encrypted volume has been created, we will detach the volume which is being currently attached to EC2 instance. Then we will attach our new encrypted volume to the EC2 instance. And once all the steps is completed, we will be starting up our EC2 instance and we'll check if the data exists on the encrypted volume or not. So let's jump onto the AWS console. And I have currently a EC2 server, which is in a running state right now. So what we will do is we will first check the storage. So this is the EBS volume, which is being assigned. And this is a root volume and the block device name is dev xvda so let's go to the volume which is there so if you check here there is no kms key id and kms key like aliases attached to this volume so it means that this volume is not being encrypted so what we first do is we will uh, put some files to check if there is uh, any data loss or not so i have logged into the command line of this server so what we will do is uh, let's create some directory for the testing of the encryption then we can create some files in this maybe some test.txt inside that i will create one more directory so we have two text files currently in this uh, folder and two directories so i will go to the testing encryption also sorry testing encryption and we'll test 3.txt so we have some of the files copied to it. So what we first will do is we will stop our currently running server. So we select this, our running server and put it into a stop instance. So this will be going into the stop state. And in the meantime, what we can do is we can navigate to the volume. We will create a snapshot from this volume so we will give a description of encryption so that we can identify later if you want to add some of the tags you can add the tags also so our snapshot is getting generated so i will pause this video and once the encryption is being completed we will continue so our volume has been encrypted and it's been completed so till now what we have done is we have stopped the ec2 instances we have created the snapshot of the ebs volume and the next step is to create an encrypted volume from the snapshot so for creating this uh, volume from this snapshot we need to first check in which availability zone this instance is being created because if we create a volume in a different availability zone then this volume will not be able to be attached to this instance 
So this is a AWS uh, thing uh, uh, limitation that like uh, this is a constraint. If an instance is being hosted in availability zone US East 2A, then the volume should also be in that particular availability zone. So that makes sense also like if we have a server in US, that volume should not be lying anywhere in Europe or something. So we will be creating the snapshot. So we have the snapshot ready. So we go to the action and we'll create the volume. So here it's asking us the availability zone. So our uh, instance is in 2B. So we will select that availability zone. And then in the encryption, we will like to encrypt this volume. Here we need to select the key encryption key what encryption key will be using by default EBS volumes have an encryption key provided by AWS so we will be using this one if you have any of the other KMS keys to be used you can create a custom uh, managed key and that key can be attached here so we will put all the settings uh, the default settings and we'll do the create volume so if we go to that volume it will be getting created so this volume is now available so now we have created the encrypted volume from the snapshot the next step is to detach the volume from the ec2 instance so we will go to the instance we'll go again to the volume which is being attached to it we'll put this volume as a detached volume so this will be detached now if we list all the volumes and we will check our encrypted volume which we have created right now so this is the one in the 2b region we will attach this volume we will select the instance so we have this instance now the device name is the block device name which will be mapped so it was initially uh, the root volumes is being mapped to xvda so in case if we change this value then the operating system will not be uh, will not be able to detect that device because in its configuration files all the uh, volumes uh, block device name is being defined with dev xvda so if we change this value then all our configuration will be messed up and the instance will not get booted so keep make sure that the device name should be the same which was earlier attached to that server so now this is being attached and we have completed the step five now we need to uh, start the server so we will go to the server We'll put it as a start instance. And the server will be started up. So it's in running state. We will connect to the CLI mode. The instance is still booting up, so that's why we were getting the error message. So now we have the server up. So if we check, so we have the two text files which we have created and the two directories which were there. Inside that testing encryption directory, we have few of the files. So that file is also there. So this way we have achieved. Uh, encrypting our uh, volumes which is being currently assigned to any of these servers and there will be no data loss thanks for watching this video if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel thanks a lot